Hello, in this video I will demo an MMR changes for enterprise batch filtering uh, group members by enterprise option and disabling 2FA for enterprise users. Recently we introduced a new enterprise user definition in the GitLab system. Uh, the goal of our changes is to make uh, enterprise batch filtering and disabling 2FA features work based on the new definition. For this video, I prepared a GitLab instance locally and that GitLab instance simulates uh, SASP instance because enterprise users is a SASP feature only. I also created a user account and set up 2FA for that users. I also uh, set up a group, uh, a paid group that supports uh, domain verification. Since new enterprise user definition works based on domain verification. So first I am going to uh, log in into my uh, GitLab account. Uh, this 2FA setup. As you can see, uh, during the login, 2FA step is present. And after confirming in, uh, I successfully uh, login into that account. Now I am going to uh, login into another account that is a group owner of the group I prepared for this demo. In this group, uh, my user with2FA setup is a member uh, of this group and you can see 2FA badge for, um, for that user. Uh, but currently uh, that user is not an enterprise user based on the new definition for that group. Uh, so for testing purposes I am going to claim uh, that user as an enterprise user of the group from Rails console uh, on gitlab.com it happens automatically so for that command I need a username And I also need a group ID. I can find out group ID on uh, its uh, uh, root page. Its ID is 71. So uh, I marked uh, my user with two face setup as an enterprise user of the group. If I refresh group members page, uh, we can see that the enterprise badge is uh, present for that user. So now I can filter uh, group members uh, by enterprise uh, uh, option and it will show me uh, only enterprise user uh, members of this group. And uh, now I can disable two factor authentication uh, for that user. Uh, as I am currently logged in as a group owner. Uh, you can see a prompt that two-factor authentication has been disabled successfully for my users. You can notice that there is no 2FA uh, badge for that user. And I am going to log in into that account to confirm that there is no 2FA step for that user. You can see uh, I successfully signed in and 2FA uh, step uh, wasn't present. We can go into user setting and see that two-factor authentication is disabled for that account. Uh, that's it.